I am Mary Elizabeth Mahoney, and I was the first African-American nurse in the United States of America. I am the oldest of two siblings, born on 1845, May 7th, to Charles and Mary Jane Mahoney. I was born in Foxbury, North Carolina, which was a slave state. But my parents wanted to move up north to a free state, and we moved to Boston, Massachusetts, before the Civil War. I always knew that I wanted to be a nurse, so I started working at the New England Hospital for Children and Women, which was owned by a group of female doctors. I worked long hours, seven days a week. I was a cook, I was a janitor, I was a maid, and I was a washwoman. In 1878, I signed up for the nursing program at the hospital. My class consisted of 12 months of working on the maternity ward, the medical surgical ward, and doing four months of private duty, which is what I loved. The next year, I graduated as the first African-American nurse. There was 42 students in my class. Only four of us graduated. Well, they thought I was crazy. But I signed up to become a registered private duty nurse. I wasn't going to go in the hospital and take care of all them white people. <laughs> I wanted to have one patient. And God only knew the plans that he had for me because that's, that was the direction that I chose to go. Before I knew it, I was wanted in Washington, D.C. as a private duty nurse. Even back in the slave state, North Carolina, they wanted me. My distinguished, calm, quiet, and efficient nursing <coughs> skills paved the way for a lot of other nurses to come behind me. I decided that I wanted to um, become an activist because there was a lot of racial discrimination for the nursing profession. So I decided to become a part of the National Association for College Graduate Nurses, which was established in 1902. I was the first person to speak at the first annual convention for the National Association of College Degree Nurses. This gave me an opportunity to let my hospital graduating um, class know that we need, they needed to employ or enroll more African American nurses. So two years later, they graduated four more African American nurses. I continued on, I strived because I wanted to make a difference between um, the white nurses and the black nurses. So, um, I decided that, again, I need to continue on and strive and let my work not be in vain. Well, in 1910, to God be the glory, there were 2,400 wow. African American nurses that graduated and were professional nurses. I continued on. I worked as a director of an orphanage for black children. And then later, I retired, and I decided I was going to be an activist, and I thought that women needed to vote. So I pursued that endeavor, and I became one of the first women among the Boston women after the 19th Amendment was put into effect to vote, and I was 76 years old. <coughs> Now, I'm 81, and I was admitted to the hospital where I trained at. 
with breast cancer, but to God be the glory, if I should live another day or another year, I just want my work and my legacy to continue on. So I pray that the A American Nurses Association, formerly known as the National Association of Colored Nurses, continue to let my live, legacy live on, and the African American Nursing Society that wears the green and yellow color, Chi Eta Phi Incorporated, I pray they let my legacy live on.